junkyard fun. What's up guys? Uh, day number two, about to go check out the pit bike. My friend Alex just pulled up. Um, need to give this woman a call. She said she might have a couple other pieces and stuff such as like plastics and stuff like that for the pit bike because it was missing some. So fingers crossed she has some of that. What up Alex? What's up guy? How's it going bro? Long time no see. Been a while. How's the uh, shoulder? Did he say it was dislocated or just broke it off? Looking like a broken collarbone and maybe like a fractured hip or something. So I don't know. His hips hurt. I don't know. I have no idea. But his I practice and uh, how you feeling? How do you do? <laughs> how do, we do? What, can you tell us what happened? I will go ahead and say. Cut it. My storage is done. I got you. Go ahead and say. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Not a damn soul here is gonna scrub that table harder than I did all right heard it here <laughs> I will give anybody here five hundred dollars cash if they can oh say less <laughs> <laughs> it hurts but she'll rip yeah we got some plates and some screws in there or what a little bit of metal it wasn't necessarily the hardware I was after but... so uh that's good I, I want to show you something I, I got something I'm so excited about it but I don't want to tell you what it is yet any ideas? It's in the, it's in the dirt bike garage. So, is it like a, is it like a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a person. I want to show you something. It's just like a person tied up. <laughs> yeah. Notice anything out of the ordinary? What the fuck? <laughs> anything stand out to you? What the fuck is this? Okay, so <laughs> where did you get this? Yeah. Um, did you get this at Target? <laughs> well, take it. I mean, you know what? I, I, Target would oh, actually. Oh, it has a motor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I no. thought it was like one of those dirt bikes. The, like those have, like, racers? They have like pedals and shit. Oh, no, <laughs> no, like, no. Well, okay, so this thing's kind of sketchy for sure. It's got like zip tied the pipes off, but I think we can make it work. Uh, you want to pull it out? Did you spray paint the fender? No, I didn't spray paint the fender. No, I haven't done anything to it other than roll it out of guess where? Whoa. Guess where I got it? Guess where I got it? From the back of a Sam's Club. Ah, close enough. No, I got we I got it from a junkyard. Darius oh, and shit. yeah, Darius and Austin and myself. We all went to this junkyard because uh, I dropped off a washing machine for Austin. You? Did they charge you for it? Or, or for Austin's like, brother? They no, just... they didn't. No, they didn't charge us for it at all. So they just kind of like let y'all get it. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. So. I've been wanting a pit bike for so long, and uh, dude, fuck. Yeah, I was so happy to get this one, but dude, who needs a brand new CRF 110 when you can get a Polini? Right? Yeah, I know it's a Polini, dude. They don't even make these things anymore. Okay, but this is the real test. Well, okay. So look, smell. We we couldn't decide if it was gas or water, and it's hard to tell. I feel like it might be a little bit of both. Cause you, it, 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 it's, you can smell the gas, right. but it's not as potent as gas should be. <laughs> right, so I think we could probably pour it out. Bro, let's put some, let's put some uh, Pro 6. Some Pro 6, some VP racing fuel in there. Let's see, do you need to switch anything on? Or what? What's going on with your kill switch, man? I don't know, <laughs> dude. Like I said, it literally came from a junkyard. So yeah, try to, try to start it, see if it'll start. We tried yesterday, but if we couldn't start, get it to if work. If it starts first kick, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the Kickstarter, you gotta try to kick it on, dude, it's like it's on backwards, you have to kick it from like here or else it'll just fold in. It's got a little it's compression, compression though, right? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh. I like it though, I think we could clean it up and make it look pretty good. I think you need to worry about making it run good. <laughs> We're gonna try to give that woman a call now and see if she has some of the plastics and stuff for it. Cause honestly, I, I don't think, I already looked around online and I don't know if we'd be able to get some plastics for it. I don't know what we would do. So fingers crossed. She said sometimes people just come in and throw stuff and they can take like the plastic. They have like a plastic section where they can take and recycle it and stuff. So she's gonna check that and see um, 
if that guy brought some of the stuff in. So fingers crossed we'll be able to uh, be able to get the plastics and stuff. All right, the time has finally come. We're gonna give the woman a call and hopefully she has the plastics and a couple other things. All right, you got the number? Yeah. All right, call her up. Hi, uh, I was calling to see if you guys still had the plastics for that Polini pit bike that was in your junkyard earlier. Yes, actually we do. They're sitting right here. Okay, uh, are you guys going to be open for a little while longer? Can we stop by and pick this up today, possibly? Yep, we'll be here a few hours longer. Alright, awesome. We'll see you there. Thank you. Thanks. Bro, they have the parts. Yes. Oh, dude, no way. Was that nice. Yo, let's go right now. Let's go right now. Alright, let's go. Alex and I are about to head to the junkyard now, and dude, I honestly, I can't tell you how excited I am to go get those parts. It's gonna be fun. There, I thought, the chances of the parts actually being there were probably like one in a million. Yeah. Like the fact, I guess the guy was trying to work on it or something. Well, I just wanna and, go ahead and put it out there that I didn't even know a, a pit bike like that existed. <laughs> yeah, a Polini, have you heard of a Polini before? No. So, I remember like the Rock River team actually had them back in the day, and so it's a Polini 110 four stroke and the overseas they actually raced them in the 65 class just like they had the 150 right and against the super minis that was like the same thing so I'm pretty sure the bike is fast like I think it rips uh, I'm pumped that has a clutch wait, 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 time out. are you trying to say that people race that shit and the <laughs> yeah they no, they did they did so yeah it's pretty cool I, I really hope we can get it running Maybe just like, what do you think we should do? Like pour the gas out? I'll tell you what, this is- More water? No, you wanna get some views? Hey, 100,000 likes on this video and I'll go race this in a Loretta Lynn's area qualifier. <laughs> in the 250 class? In 250 Pro Sport. I will race the Polini at the Mill Creek Southeast area qualifier. All right, yeah, but we gotta get it running first. So what are we gonna, I mean, I guess we could start with what? Pouring the gas or water, whatever it is out? No, so here's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna call up Twisted Development, get us a high compression piston, and we're gonna get that thing barking. All right, but no. Get some A kit for the front. <laughs> no, in all seriousness though, we should, I guess, just pour the gas out and what? Like, clean the carb or something? Bro, you need to rebuild that whole bike from the bottom up. That thing, I don't know how that thing runs. I mean, I guess it's not in bad shape, but. Ah, uh, we don't know that. Who knows how long it's been sitting and, yeah, I don't know. We'll just pour it out and hopefully, Get the thing running. So what parts are we going to pick up exactly? Uh, I don't know. Whatever plastics and stuff she said that she has left over. Well, so. obviously it's missing a right shroud, so I'd assume that. Uh, I'm assuming that. Oh, and then the number plate too. Number plate, yeah. Yeah. So important. hopefully they're together. Yeah, we actually don't know if we'll be able to get both, but hopefully we will. We will. Taking the motorsport.com whole shot number 69 on the Polini. <laughs> <laughs> on the Polini. <laughs> on the Polini. <laughs> on the Polini. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep Polini. you guys updated when we get there. <laughs> Polini factory racing. So, unfortunately, we had to go buy screws, but it's really not that big of a deal. Just Phillips had screws, but I, that, this is what was important, getting the plastic, so. The essentials. E-central. So we got that. So now we're gonna play a game. Can Gray put the shroud on without <laughs> stripping the screw? <laughs> What does it mean when it keeps spinning? Um, I'm... I think that, oh, you're screwed. <laughs> okay. So, it, so it just keeps spinning. Uh, maybe, okay, so if the screw isn't stripped, then that means the actual, like, thread inside is stripped. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I mean, it's a junkyard pit bike, bro. I don't know what you expect. <laughs>
Wish they had the screws that came with it on here. That is that is very tough. Yes. Hey, free dirt bike though. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs>
and this is it right here. Here goes your uh, 110 with the Jordan sticker and all. <laughs> oh, it does have the Jordan sticker. Need that. Talk to Jake. Got a fresh tire on here. Really excited about you that. Why? You know why he got a fresh tire? Because it was flat. <laughs> yeah, it was flat. It was so. <laughs> but now we got some fresh threads on there. Check this out. So he realized that the tire is flat, right? I told him. I was like, "Yo, it's flat." Nah. <laughs> but he said it was flat. But he gets the rear changed, but not the front. So I'm like, "Bro, so what you think gonna happen to the front now?" You wasted all this time on getting tires changed, but you only do one and not two. Tell, tell, tell me. Man, get out, get out of my, get, <laughs> get out of my YouTube, get out, get out of my YouTube channel right now. Get out of my channel. So yeah, you know, some of us a little low on cash. Not everybody's big balling like this guy with the twenty dollar rain boots on. <laughs> so yeah, um, I mean the front tire's not too bad. Let's take a look. You think it's bad? Did you flip? Oh, I can't see that. Um, I mean, yeah. shit. It looked like they tried to flip it around and get some extra life out of it. It does look like, look, <laughs> somebody for sure tried to do that. All right, we need a, uh... oh shit, you went back and got the plastics? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so Alex, Alex is over here. Yeah. And uh, we, we called the lady up she and up. yeah, dude, they actually had it. And so yeah, turns out we got extremely lucky. Like I thought we were, Screwed. I thought I was rocking a naked bike. Yeah, I don't know what we were gonna do. There's no way we would have found plastic. So look, look at the difference. Like, look at how dark this side is though, and then this side is just like so faded. Like, yeah. right, it's crazy. We need to get everything like situm weight it. Situm weight it. All right, let's do it. So what's? I mean, first things first. We gotta definitely drain the gas, but we can go up underneath and drain it from the hose. Yeah, let's definitely do I think that. We learned a lesson from all the hate comments in the 125 video. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. So yeah, let's do that for sure. From this nightmare I've been dreaming of For so long it's been a hole in my head So loud to fit, fit through and it's my death for now Ooh. Right! Drop a comment down below if you think the Polini pipes look better than the KLX 110 pipes. Personally, I think it looks way better. Talking to me? Uh, uh, no, like, I'm just no, saying like, act like I'm just saying this pipe looks like ten times better than any KLX 110. <laughs> uh, stock that is. Good thing I don't have stock. We're hanging out with my dog Chester. Hey, <laughs> hey, what do you think about the pit bike? Whose pit bike do you think looks better, the Polini or the KLX 110? <laughs> the Pol you said the Polini. Yeah, I, the Polini definitely looks better, doesn't it? No! Yeah, I agree with you. Polini's like 10 times better than the KLX 110 for sure. Who are you talking to? All right, thanks. Thanks for let, huh? Who are you talking to? 
Who are you talking to? Oh, Chester was just giving me some uh, some feedback on whose pit bike looks better. Oh, I wonder what he said. Uh, he, yeah, he he said Polini all day. Yeah. Like he didn't even want to be by yours. He's walking away. He wants to go to the Polini. Got to make sure we spray off all the excess fuel that came out. Hey, man. This dude's trying to escape. Next up, got to change the oil in it because if it's been sitting for a very, very long time, the oil is probably bad in it. Oh, like this. A little darker. <laughs> you could have just pointed out your hoodie. Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah like <laughs> hey, they said uh, if you can remove that bolt without getting oil in your hands, fastest man alive. Really? Yep. How much? You talking about no oil? No oil. See that no oil? Clean hands. <laughs> He's gonna get so much oil on his hands. <laughs> oh, I Ooh. thought was coming out. No oil. Whoa, whoa. What's that? I don't see any oil. <laughs> Dude, nothing's drinking. That's close enough. Ooh. What does that mean? <laughs> It's all burned up or something, or what? Ah, oh, there's a little bit. Huh? We should act like there was no oil in it. So basically, there was hardly any oil in it. That's not a good sign, is it? Mm -mm. Solid. He rode the short bus, Shorty. <laughs> you remember Short Bus Shotty? Huh? You remember Short Bus Shotty? Short Bus Shotty. Short Bus Shotty. I rode the long one, and guess what seat I sat in? Front. Number 12 all day, baby. You know we in the back of the bus. I was in the back of the bus, too. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but where are you seat 12? Nah, I don't know. What's the one? You probably 9 or back. 10. It's all right. You probably 9 or 10. I know you're not back of the bus, though. You're not very back. Yes, sir. Yeah, Me? Very back of the bus. All right, so let's see how much oil this thing takes. I know it doesn't take that much. And they are giving us the whole manual. Can you get a little bit closer there, buddy? Yeah. You need to put fork oil? Yeah, you wanna put some fork oil in it? Got the oil changed, got a new filter on it. Not gonna clean the carb yet, we're just gonna try to put some fresh fuel in it and crossing our fingers that it's actually gonna start. I guess the time is now, let's go do it. Probably run pretty good with 93. Do we try to start it now? I think so. But it could be such a disappointment, like going through everything that we've gone through to have it like not start, it would be so upsetting. Well, let me just say this. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that, you know? Uh, one man's junk is another one's uh, treasure. Did something you, like that. Did you say that right? I don't think I did, but <laughs> you get the gist. It's, it's something like that. What is it? One that. man's trash is another man's treasure. So just because somebody didn't feel like doing what it takes to get it fixed, you know, doesn't mean Well, let's see it. Let's see it. We can't do what let's it takes it. to get it fixed. I had to go to the store and get a spark plug or something. Yeah, I forgot. We didn't put a new spark plug on it, did we? Mm -hmm. Alright. What's it called? The final moment of truth. The final countdown. Final countdown is here. All that work and this is where we are. 
Solid, solid. <laughs> Dude, this kickstart makes no sense. Look, check this out. Look, when you're kicking it, it folds in. How, how does that make, look like, that's stupid. That's gotta be something somebody rigged up. That's ridiculous, so. Man, it's almost like it might not be getting a spark. Do you do you see it getting a spark or anything? <laughs> you have to pull the thing off. Man, I'm not. I don't know. Should we just go to the store real quick and get a spark plug just to eliminate that? I think. Oh so. uh, yes. You think so? Probably so. Yeah. All right. All right, well, we will go to the store real quick and we are gonna try again. All right, so we just got back from the store, pulled the old crappy spark plug off. Let me see that joker. Crappy spark plug off. And uh, we're gonna try the fresh one. Right down to there. Almost. Did you hear that? I did. It tried. It tried to start. I saw some smoke. <laughs> did you? Yo, it's running though. Dude, I don't, I'm like speechless right now. I can't believe it actually it started. That's huge. Isn't that huge? Yeah. I mean, I it think doesn't we mean it's going to run good. Let it but. sit though. Let it sit though. All right. Like, it sounds like it's about to die, but... Maybe it's just cold. We just started it up after however many years it's been sitting. Touch it. See, see a way to test to see if it's running good? <laughs> Touch the pipe and just see if it's, like, getting hot. Uh, oh, yeah? Because you got to make sure it's not running cold. <laughs> no, like, dead ass. I'm not doing that. I'll let you do it. But, oh, dang. We're oh. good. We're good? We're good. Should I rub it up? I think you should touch it first. Dude, if you rub it up while it's running cold, you're gonna mess it up. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like that idea, that's ridiculous. Dude, should I rub it up a little bit? Just see what a happens? little bit, it might die. Go, go for it. Smoking. <laughs> uh, so far, so good if you ask me. So, well, shoot, might as well ride it, I guess. Look, I don't think the brake's doing anything. <laughs> Look at that. I bet, yeah, nothing. I think we got a little bit of front. Do it, no, 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 do it, Shut No, up. no, do don't, don't do that yet, don't do that yet. I'm afraid it's gonna die, I don't wanna do that. Uh, how's the chain looking? Loose. <laughs> Loose. That's all right, dude. Loose light. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I get on it like I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. Yeah, get on it just a little bit. Go for it.
burnout with that fresh tire, you think? Oh, a little bit of a burnout. I don't want to ruin the tire. I'm pumped. You want to ride it? With my boots? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> Only because I got my boots on. Just be careful. Don't let it cut off, bro. It sounds like it's trying to cut off. Bro, make sure you rev it. I don't want it to cut off. Dude! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, no. are you kidding me? Not as soon as I can. No, no, no. Don't try. Dude. Don't even blame that. What if it doesn't even start? Don't even blame that on me. Dog, come on, man. You saw me trying to rev it. Come on. I mean, I guess we can roll start it like we did the 125. Hopefully. This should start. Oh! Oh! First kick? Let's go, baby. Let's go! Don't, don't hit it. Don't hit it. I'm, I'm pumped. Hype. Go! Look at him. He, he almost looped that thing out already. Dude, look at that power. You know how excited I am right now. Okay, okay. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am about this. This is, it's taken us several days to get to where we are now and I'm, I'm so happy about this junkyard find. Okay, okay, show off. All right. All right. Man, that's sick. Watch out, a squirrel! All right, guy, we get it. We get it. You love your rain boots. Look, at he almost ate it. Look at that. <laughs> Woo. All right, all right, we get it. You absolutely love your rain boots. Picked a really good day to wear those things. We get it. How's it run? Even better. Ah, ah. Even better in rain boots. Man. But, but, but you don't know that feeling, so. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. Wait, which shot? Yeah, this is the good side. See, it's got its, its bad side. You know, it's got Wait, the... wait, wait. How's my rain boots look, though? They look, they look, they look good. Yeah, this is definitely the good side of the bike, so we'll show this one. I like the way the pipe looks for a stop pipe. That looks sick. How my boots look? <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is amazing. This is a great day. Yeah, boy. Should we go? You want to go ride? You want to go ride them? We can. Let's do we it. Yeah, a little bit. We got some daylight left. A little bit of overcast, but. All right, let's go do it. Uh-huh. I said someone commented, Grace seems like a great friend. Couldn't ask for a better one, right? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, of course. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Bro, thanks so much for coming over and getting help me get this thing running. I just wanted to get it running so I can ride it. <laughs> I bet not you wanna ride mine, it. Not beat mine today. Uh, I think you're scared. I saw it, I saw it. I saw it doing some. <laughs> Who's scared? Who's scared? Huh? Hey, hey, easy, easy, easy on the junkyard find. All right, we're not even gonna call it that anymore. Polini 110. I should just what year do you think it is? Over. What year do you think this beast what is? If I just let it fall over. Easy. Come on, hold the junkyard all find. All right. <laughs> oh, what? Feel free to comment down below what year you guys think this is. Let go. Yeah, we ran out of time for my pit bike. Holy cow! Sweet. Is it real? <laughs> That's an Indian? Nah, man. That, that thing electric? Yeah. Is it fast? I don't know. We haven't got this <laughs> tested out, really. Battery's kind of dead. Yeah. Oh, man. Sweet. That's cool. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to finish my video on the pit bike because we had to make a quick trip to Indian Motorcycle, which is in Buford. It's like two, three minutes from my house. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go back and get some more clips tomorrow. It's been like a five day process at least of filming on this pit bike. So uh, yeah, get more clips tomorrow morning.
What's up guys? The day has finally come for like the fifth or sixth time. Well, it took us five or six days of working on this thing, but the day has finally come where I actually get to ride the Polini 110 Junkyard Fun, which I'm super excited about. I mean, all I got to do yesterday was like ride it in the street and it was getting dark. Actually, I don't even know if it was getting that dark, but it's just that Darius had actually had to go pick up a little something something, which I'll show you guys right now. Now, he had to pick up this little beast. Pretty cool little bike for sure. Um, if for some reason you don't have him on YouTube, uh, I always put his link down below. So feel free to check out his page if you want to check out more on this Indian motorcycle. Oh, I can't wait to actually get to ride this thing. Got Darius's beast of a bike, but I don't know if it's gonna top this one. It's a back row. Whoa, whoa, man. Trying to run me over. Let go, dude. Let's do it, dude. Man, I'm so happy. Oh, you think you slick, huh? <laughs> you ready, son? I won! Let's do it! I'm super ready. What are we doing? Uh, we're gonna see who can do the longest wheelie. Longest wheelie? Of course, I, you know, I got it in the bag, obviously. Oh, you think so? If I had a drone and a bird's eye view, you guys would see that we have this here roundabout. We have a roundabout that we're gonna try and do the longest wheelie. How many loops, how many circles, how many rounds or whatever we can do uh, around this thing. Let's do it. You got a wasp on your leg, dog. No, oh, oh, get it off. Oh, hell nah. That's <laughs> sketchy, I thought you were messing with me. So yeah, like Darius was saying, he came up with this genius idea for us to do wheelies around a roundabout and see who can do it the longest. So. Obviously, I'm gonna win. Hey, hey, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. As I was saying, I'm obviously gonna win. I mean, he doesn't even have a rear fender. Doesn't that tell you how he can wheelie? How do you think he lost that fender, huh? Watch, how'd you lose the fender? Shit happens. And hey, look at my fender. That's because you ain't got no balls. You ain't tried. Or, I mean, I just got, I just got the bike. So yeah, actually, that doesn't really help my case out. Regardless, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm taking home this dub today. To get this challenge started. I know. Hang on. I don't understand how to do this, man. I do the same thing. Don't be like me. You can't be like me and expect to do it the same. Like you just can't. Oh no! I messed up my helmet. Just kidding. I hit a concrete wall. All right. So don't record me. <laughs> All right. I need you guys to do me a big favor here. Just need your honest opinion. We want to know which bike sounds the best. So, is it going to be the Polini 110 or the KLX 110? Obviously, the KL, the green one, the green one. So, drop a comment down below and tell us so we know. I already know which one sounds Ooh, the best. The GoPro is about to die. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah, drop a comment down below on whose bike you think sounds the best. We 
just wrapped up the wheelie challenge on Darius's video. I'm not going to spill the beans or anything like that, but I will show a little bit of footage. And if you guys want to check out the full video, what do they do, Darius? Go on your phones, type in Darius Anderson, at, or actually just go first link in the description. I'll, just, I'll put a link in the description. So, yeah, you can check out the full video there. It was a fun time, $1,000 challenge. Like I said, not going to spill the beans. And that's pretty much all I can say. I told you I had a bag in the bag. All right. It don't mean anything to me. Oh my God. <laughs> you could have a pen in there for all I know. Look, son. Look. Right here. All right. It's legit. A thou Look. All right. <laughs> don't, don't. I ain't, I ain't say touch. Quit playing with me, son. I'm trying to start my bike and ride off with it. All right, so how are we going to settle this? Who going first? You going first. You want me to go first? No, no, rock, paper, scissors all day. Okay. You let's get it. Me. Best two out of three. Okay. Oh, uh, we can go ahead and do best two out of three. All right, let's go. You ready? You know I used to be like the rock paper scissors champ. All right, <laughs> let's go. All right, you ready for it? Yeah. Rock paper scissors shoot gun. Shut up. Oh, I, that's one. That's no, one win. No. All right. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors shoot. Okay. All right, we'll go old school. No All right, worries. clean, you hear clean slate. Clean slate. Clean slate. No gun. Dang. All right. What'd you just say? <laughs> oh my God! Rock paper scissors shoot. I'm trying. I know, but I got like thinking. My would you use scissors? Rock. Wait, wait. No. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Y'all see what right, I'm right, dealing right. with? All right, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> Rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Boom! Get out of here. That's two out of three, cut. That's. You saw me two in a row. Best we're not gonna count three. the first one. All right. Um. I'm sorry. I have to think about it because. Okay. All right. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Come on! I gotta think about it, man. There's a there's a it strategy back to, to back it. To back to back. There's a strategy to no, it. it. Is okay, not. All right, I got it. Rock paper scissors shoot. See? This Quit the same strategy. Quit going around with me. All right, all right, all right. See now? No, I'm in your head. I know what you're I'm doing now. I'm going first. I'm going. Okay, first. go first. Go first. Go first. I win. <laughs> you you know? No, you you quit. You, you cheated. You got, I did not cheat. Well, you took too long. Whatever it may be, I did not lose. on the junkyard fine. Your first 
tire's a little slick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a street tire. A little slick. about it. You like it? It's smooth. Another flat, dude. That's a fat rock. I know it is a rock. <laughs> <laughs> that's dude, that dirt's prime. Man, give me back my pit bike. I can't tell you guys how much I'm enjoying this pit bike. I've wanted one for so long now, and I'm having just an absolute blast on it, being able to do challenges with Darius and just riding it for fun like it's it's so much fun i mean that's pretty much the reason i'm having a pit bike i'm just super thrilled with with how it, it's turned out and that it actually works like it was really a shot in the dark that this thing would ever even be able to run and the fact that we got it running pretty quickly and easily i, I just can't tell you how happy that makes me so thank you guys so much for watching this video today as usual uh, if you're not subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe and turn on my post notifications and also give this video a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch, guys. <laughs>